हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई विश यू आर वेरी हैप्पी डे वंस अगेन सो टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग मॉड्यूल टू एज इट इज़ रिलेटेड टू द प्रीवियस चैप्टर सेंटेंस एंड फ्रेज सो एज अर्लियर आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द सेंटेंस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेज द फर्स्ट लाइफ इज शोइंग यू द टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसेज हेयर डेफिनेशन कम्स वंस अगेन A sentence is a group of words that express a complete thought. An example is given here. Tom is going to play. This is an example. And uh, as it is written here, fragment. So in place of fragment, if we know it, phrase, then we can understand it better. Then fragment. A fragment is a group of words that does not express a complete. thought it is as same as the definition of phrase like example is given here around the corner there are four types of sentences declarative exclamatory interrogative and imperative so here we start with declarative sentence a declarative sentence is a sentence that makes a statement and a statement can be negative and positive both as example is given here jen is a student so this is a positive statement we can change it into negative also by applying no or not jen is not a student so declarative sentences are divided into two positive and negative that is called affirmative and negative now we come on to the exclamatory part exclamation is what exclamation is sudden feeling emotion sadness happiness wonder amazement etc the definition that is written here an exclamatory sentence is a sentence that is said with a strong feeling or emotions it always ends with an exclamatory mark so you can find an exclamatory mark after the example what a shame and right after it last you can see example after the example mark is here that is exclamatory mark what a shame next we come on to the interrogative sentences interrogative sentences are sentences those ask question that start with wh word that start with a helping verb or an auxiliary verb so the definition is written here an interrogative sentence is a sentence that asks a question and always ends with a question mark so question is given here in example what is your name it is starting with a wh word what is written here and ends with a mark that is called interrogative mark so interrogative mark we apply and there are two conditions conditions i tell you once again it starts with a wh word or it may start with auxiliary verb or a helping verb now we come on to the imperative sentence an imperative sentence is a sentence that is a command and it starts with v1 first form of the verb and if it is negative if it gives a negative sense then it starts with don't like go to your room it's a positive statement if we change it into negative statement it becomes don't go to your room other than don't we cannot use anything so here we have learnt about declarative exclamatory interrogative and imperative sentences write each sentence and decide if it is a declarative exclamatory interrogative or imperative that is an exercise guys for your practice take out the trash it is a declarative sentence interrogative or what it is starting with v1 t a k e take you can see here take out the trash so it is v1 here so it becomes an imperative sentence my house is just around the corner this is a declarative sentence can you come over after school today it's asking question it's starting with can so this is an interrogative sentence i saw a shooting star it is ending with an exclamatory mark you can see here so this is an exclamatory sentence and guys this is a review for you 
name the four types of sentences these questions what is the difference between a sentence and a fragment answer is written in front of the questions so guys i hope that you have learned it very well and i have attached an exercise with it which you have to do thank you student thank you thank you very much